Welcome back to the show. This is all of a little dachshund who came to the Arizona Humane Society with a horrible case of mange and a skin infection. But thanks to volunteer and foster dad, Ski, all of has made a great recovery and is joining us on the show today with an incredible transformation. I can hardly believe this is the same dog. Ski, you spent a while with her. You've been fostering her for quite a while. Now tell us more about what it's like living with little Olive. Well, Olive's been with us for about five weeks now. And when she came to us, as you see in that picture, she was covered with such a horrible case of with a secondary skin infection. She actually did not want to move. All she wanted to do was lay in one spot. We started her medicated baths, starting her, started her on antibiotics, and started her with coconut oil treatments. And within two days, all those scabs were gone, and she was just was just skin. She looked like Mr. Burns. She was just skin. And slowly over the next couple of weeks, her hair started growing back and her personality started to bloom. Now she's very quiet and docile here because she's, you know, in a new environment. She's been excited to be at the studio. But at home, she is rambunctious. She wrestles with my big dog. She terrorizes my chihuahua. She <laughs> likes to hang out with the cats. She's funny. She's smart. She's lovable. She really is going to make somebody a great pet. Now she is too smart for her own good. She's already learned to eat with the other dogs. She won't eat in her crate. She already learned how to sleep in the bed under the blankets with the other dogs. So she is going to be in the almost famous theater company's production of Laughter on the 23rd floor. She's going to make her debut there next weekend. And after her debut that weekend, she is going to be up for adoption. So if anyone would like to adopt her, they can come see her live at the performance or they can look for her on the website. And if she becomes available on the website, they can adopt her directly through there. Right, from the streets to the spotlight, Little Olive will be taking the stage. It's March 16th through the 20th and starring in the upcoming play Laughter on 23rd floor, just like Ski said. It's a dramatic comedy presented by the talented actors at Almost Famous Theatre Company. And after her big TV debut or her big theater debut, Olive will be up for adoption. Tickets are available at almostfamoustheatre.com. Well, it was hardly the great escape and required no implements other than powerful hind legs, but Duke quickly discovered that maybe hurtling over the wall was not such a good idea, and Perry Duke found himself occupying a kennel at an overcrowded shelter. <laughs> right, actually. Yeah, uh, the owners that did surrender him, that's where they, they actually had to bail him out of there a few times. They uh, didn't have enough time for him, and they said he would escape the yard. But I was reading his profile, and there are exact words where he jumps out of the yard to meet people and be petted. So this guy, and then their exact words were, he is the ultimate Velcro dog, and there he is on cue. This guy is so sweet. He wants to be around people all the time. So he's not the kind of guy that I think is going to be left alone for in a yard for a while. He just, he just is too social. He's a great guy. He's very, very athletic. He walks great on leash. He's house trained. I had him in the parking lot. He's going to be a great hiking buddy. He walks so well. And there's that Velcro aspect. If you want a dog that's going to snuggle up and keep you warm and just be around you all the time, this is the guy. What a beautiful boxer. Mm -hmm. A big teddy bear he definitely is. And I love his puppy dog eyes. Thanks, Perry. All right. Well, we wrap up the show with Taffy and Tuck, two little bundles of adorableness. They're seven weeks old, and they are big on play, Lisa. These two put the up in puppy. I have um, Tuck here. It's the little boy, the tan one. And Taffy is the little black uh, puppy there. They are pit bull terriers, four and five pounds, just seven weeks old. And although they look calm and adorable here, wait till they start tearing around your house. You'll be surprised. They have a little on and off switch. At one point, they're running, 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 playing with anything in sight and chewing on feet, shoes, anything that's on the ground. And then the next minute, the off switch goes off and they'll be napping for just a brief time until they recharge their batteries. But these guys are going to need the works. They've been with around cats, dogs, and kids. They're going to need the works, though, on training because they still have those sharp puppy teeth and that adorable puppy breath. And he's going to chew my finger to show you just how pointy they are. <laughs> So if you're interested in the work of a puppy, then you should definitely come down and meet these two. They are adorable. They're going to be big dogs, and they are going to light up somebody's life. Oh, goodness. They're too cute for words. Thanks, Lisa. For more information about the pets on today's show, you can visit azhumane.org or call the number right there on your screen. Everyone have a great weekend, and we'll see you next week with more Adoptable Pets.